No need to adjust your TV sets. <laughs> it's Bob the Drag Queen, and welcome to The Pit Stop, the only official recap show for season 12 of RuPaul's Drag Race. With me today is my season eight sister, the smoking hot acid Betty. Oh, girl, Bob, this episode was so hot. <laughs> Preheat from, at 450 degrees for 45 minutes. It is so warm in here. <laughs> is it you, you or is it me? Is that bacon? Does anyone smell that? You look gorgeous. Thank you, darling. You Thank all you. like a beautiful grayscale lobster. Thank you. With like stalactites and and coral reef growing on your back. Well, I like to look very dangerous. I'm glad I got the black and white memo. Yes, read your emails, read your emails. So we're in uh -huh. episode four. I know. Last week, Dahlia Sin went home. I'm gagged. R.I.P. Sexy Broccoli. I really thought she was gonna last a lot longer. To be honest, because her looks were so strong. Yeah, but and she's it, beautiful. It take more than a look. Apparently. It do take more than a look, honey. Apparently. Okay, so now the queen's like okay. all chatting on the couch. And there's like tension bubbling up, especially with Aiden, who's upset because she was like, I told y'all I didn't suck and you didn't believe me. It's always when the girls get freaked out that they start trying to put their finger on what the judges are looking for. Mm -hmm. And some people obviously think it's the look yeah. or it's um, the entertainment. And I think her problem is no one could say, oh, you're the comedy queen or you're the look queen, but she is kind of a look queen. Yeah, a little bit. She has a real strong perspective yeah. on her look. Oh, I love it. So 80s, goth. It is like, she's my soul sister. Yeah. Rue comes into the workroom and introduces the mini challenge this uh -huh. week. It is the beehive jot. So they all get together, getting some quick bee drag. Did you see all those gorgeous outfits they were in? I was like, steal that, take it home, yeah. and reuse these bee Just costumes. change your face and hair and put the same yeah. outfit on. That was like a Broadway show. Half of this cast during that was like, splits, tumbling around, on the crazy. Floor. You were screaming the whole time, too early, too early. Save dude. some. Yeah. We didn't know Chi Chi could do backflips until she was lip syncing for her life. Oh no, we didn't know anything because we were all keeping secrets from each other. Yeah. Because we don't want anyone to know anyone's strengths. Which one of those stood out to you the most? I thought The Rock was pretty epic. I think she tries so freaking hard that yeah. the, it's infectious. What stood out to me was Gigi Good doing a backflip. And I was like, yeah. girl, I heard she has a thumb on her back, so. I was right. I was like, "What's wrong with her?" Maybe She's we're not like, all perfect. Oh. With your extra thumb, you freak. The thumb on her back. <laughs> uh -oh. So now for the maxi challenge this week, they're having a ball, darling. This is the ball, ball. This is a ball where every look is inspired by balls. There's one that have to make a look out of balls. Right. They play a sport with the ball, right. and they're a basketball wife. We're about to see 36 looks on the runway. Is this too much? That's a lot of spandex. I feel like Drag Race is genuinely getting harder. 36 looks? In one episode. Yeah. Here's my thought is, imagine trying to pack all that. No way. And that's why this I, fits in one by itself. That's why Gigi doesn't do rhinestones. They're heavy. Now, before we get to the runway, here it is. It's a sewing challenge, and we have found out that a queen can't sew. 12, 12. years of Drag Race. Right. There's 16 seasons at this point, including All Stars. And yet again, one queen, Britta cannot sew. What are you thinking immediately? I'm thinking she should have done what you did, which is bring patterns. Yeah, all my outfits, if you look close, were made off the exact same. <laughs> but really, Bob, part. that's what you did was we had a sewing challenge and you literally just unzipped a part of your luggage and it was like, boom, and had all these flat patterns. And that is so smart. So Rock does this duct tape uh, body form. Yes. Like, have you ever seen something like this before? Yes, it's brilliant, I love it. It's an old school way of making hats. If you want to do like, um, big over-the-top hats or mm. Rococo hats. You would take a trash bag, put it on your head, and take a bunch of tape, and then you have a mold of your head, and you could take it off, and then you just build onto it, and then that thing just plunges back onto your head. Work, like, like a helmet, basically. Yeah, and if you're a bald queen, fierce. So Aiden is done really quick. This And this is pissed oh, off. Yes. Britta's mad. Britta's like, this girl's over here sleeping. I'm up here working all day long, and this bitch is sleeping on the couch. <laughs> and this is really- That sounds like Britta. Yeah. This is really pissed Britta off that Aiden's like, I'm done, my style's really plain and simple. No, Aiden said that her face and hair- True. Sells the outfit. True. And it's not always, and I understand this Aiden, because I'm similar to where it is the face and hair that all of a sudden sells the garment. It's not like you're wearing but. a simple, you <laughs> act like you're in a, said, said no. the, the porcupine, uh, lobster. <laughs> there are 36 looks, so we do not have time to talk about every single one. Category is lady ballers. Mm -hmm. Girls who ball, ladies who play ball. Nikki Doll. Uh, 
hate it. The hair is too long, the eye makeup was good, the outfit, I don't know, something's off. It's yeah. pretty, but something's off. Aiden Zane, love it. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> Rock M. Sakura. Okay, stop. I'm gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to. We gotta to. pause. This, I was cackling. I was dying and I wanted to see this. When I saw the teaser, I wanted to see this section of the show just to see what this hair was about. I was screaming. I was screaming. Jada Essence Hall. She was beautiful. Yeah, love it. Krista Bethel looked like Jackie Cox and I I hate it, hate yeah. it. She went bowling, I thought it was a real ball. I was like, bitch is like, if I go home, I'm destroying something. No, I <laughs> thought it was funny, but I thought it better if she took the ball to the back and then like threw, threw it, it toward the judges. Towards the judges. Gigi Good, loved it. Good. it. Good. I liked it. It was good. Yeah. So what was your favorite out of that category? Rock. Yeah. Yeah. For the hair. Mm -mm. <sighs> like, okay. okay, wait. If it was a runway, like we, maybe we should unpack it. Cause like if it was a performance in a club, I'd Rock be, would win oh, for me. There would be so it's much money thrown at her. People would be screaming, right. going insane. Right. In Michelle Passage's defense, for the runway. Those boots and everything was bad. It was not great. So in runway, I probably would have given it to, actually, maybe Aiden. I just love the perspective. All right, so now the next category is basketball wives. Jackie Cox, what decade it was your husband playing basketball? It, it, who is she married to? Uh, Larry Bird, Rock M. Sakura. This look <laughs> was great, but her hip hats are weird. Okay, literally, as she came down, I was in love with her. I didn't even know who she was, which is another fabulous thing about drag. Yeah. But when she turned around, I, her hips were screaming at me. But if those hips were not square, she should have won that one. Jada Essence Hall. Okay, I was like, I don't know if you're like a basketball wife as much as like a basketball mom. Like my son's playing down at Madison Square Garden today. A retired I, basketball wife. Yeah, like well my husband Charles Barkley yeah. is uh, doing ESPN this right. evening. He's selling grills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had a problem with Britta saying, Mugler, it was a take on Mugler. I Mugler. am annoyed as hell. It, I, <laughs> I want her to take all of that Mugler back. <laughs> Crystal Method. Uh, that's another one that was fun because we didn't recognize her. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I liked it because I didn't recognize yeah. her. If I saw the club, I'm like, oh, hey girl, Jan. This is this is cute. It's cute. It's cute. It didn't knock me over, but it's cute. It's cute. Heidi in closet. I like when she had the sunglasses on more than when she took them off. Oh, yes. It elevated. She looks rich and famous. So rich. Literally. Widow Von Du. I actually liked the silhouette. I thought it was cute. Her shoe, her shoe is dowdy. The sleeves were gorgeous. Yeah. But something about this outfit was drabby, was dowdy, was heavy. Basketball on. Yeah. GG good in the 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 snake skin um, yes. coat. Loved it. It was cute. It was she is a fashion queen. She is. She really is. She is. Poor Nikki doll. Who's your favorite from the basketball wives? Because I'm including everything that I've seen from her so far, mm -hmm. rock. I'm gonna go with Nikki. I really love that ostrich. Uh, she was coat. my second. And it was it was high fashion. Now the last category is balls to the walls, extravaganza. Let's look at these looks. These are the looks that they made themselves. Yes, in the workroom, from scratch, from balls. <laughs> Let's have a ball. Nikki doll. Okay, I was not crazy for like everyone else was. It was nice. It was beautiful. They were going, everyone was going crazy. I was like, it's cool, it's cool. It looks a little bit like um, a hippie who lives on a commune, but it's also into fashion. Aiden Zane is the referee. She should have listened. She's missing half her outfit. Yeah, Rock'em Sakura. Okay, she's wearing everything. I mean, she said she was gonna go for way too many balls and she she did not lie. I can probably see that she probably wanted to put more balls on this outfit. And at a time. time. It's space. <laughs> Yeah. She ran out of space. She, she was like, I really wish I could have put more balls on this outfit. Jada Essence Hall. I love this look. It was gorgeous. This was, I felt like what Monet was trying to do with the soap bubbles. This is the soap bubbles. Okay, yeah. yeah. Britta, I'm gonna say this, and maybe she'll listen to me in the next episode because you know the girls watch this and they do each episode. I'm actually in LA right now filming these, and then the girls are all, all the girls are actually sitting right there listening to us critique them. So listen up, ladies. Britta, listen, hey Britta, <laughs> stop gluing stuff to your monster feet. Your feet are too big. Don't don't you raise your hand at me, bitch. Crystal Method, who has changed up her makeup. Every time. Every time. Like, I have a feeling that like Michelle or someone screaming, we need to see versatility. We just haven't like heard that part, because she is screaming, I'm versatile! Yeah, Jan, um, I'm not mad. I can see where she was going with it. I like her perspective. I wish the skirt was just higher. She looks like she has a really long torso. Right. Her legs look like this long. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? And her torso like looks... Like harem pants. And her yeah. torso looks like it goes down to her knees. Um, I just don't like that her makeup starts from, like, chin up. Like, she's, like, white-faced up, and then she has all this, like, tan skin. I just think that's weird. It's like she ran out of time. Yeah, like, I'm cool if it's on purpose, yeah. but this doesn't look like it's on purpose. Yeah. Heidi in closet. I love everything I love except this. the shawl. Lose the shawl, everything else is great. And we both gagged that we didn't know she was bald, that she has a bald cap on. Yeah, and it took me a while to be like, oh wait, she isn't bald. She fully had time to do a bald cap. And she did fierce, like spooky, ooky makeup. Yeah. And I have to mention it because we both know that they give these girls about two and a half minutes yeah. to change between looks. So the fact that they're changing outfits and their makeup and bald caps in three minutes is balls to the wall impressive. Good for you. Ivy, Widow Von Doom. Loved. 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 Loved the silhouette. Loved the ponytail, the colors, loved. This is her best look to yeah. today. Yeah, for sure. Gigi Good, I like this look. I don't think there has been a more elaborate outfit <laughs> on RuPaul's Drag Race <laughs> than this one. All right, so who's your favorite from the balls to the walls on the gun? I liked the bubble look. Jada Essence Hall. Jada, but that brown bell. Widow Von Du. Of Widows? It was great, I loved it. I want that. I'm a Widow fan. Like, I am, like, ever since episode one. Me too. I'm like, she's so good. Can we pause for a second? The but, guest, the celebrity guest judges, Leslie Jones is on RuPaul's Drag Race, who live tweets from home. I also love that she, for some reason, films. What in the mom? Uh, Keeps a three foot distance. Who is filming? Put this out of my face. She did look good. She looks stunned. She did look good. The critiques have happened. We found out that the winner of this week is GG Good. Do you agree? Because it was a runway challenge and we're judging people by the way they looked, mm -hmm. it has, it, it, I think it would, it could be Gigi. She was probably the most put together. From shoe. The full collection. Right, from, you know what I mean? From like literal shoe, knees. You yeah. know, like when you consider everything. Rock, I, she was one of my top girls the whole way, but that's because I enjoyed what she was selling, what she was doing, um, but she had missing pieces. Yeah, despite the fact that she was wearing literally everything, <laughs> there was still <laughs> something here is missing. Something's missing, Rock. So the bottom two are Rock and Breda, who are now lip syncing to s &M by Rihanna. What are your thoughts? Honestly, as I was first watching it, I thought we were gonna have another double elimination because we had two girls fighting for one space, tripping over an outfit. Rock was spending the first 30 seconds taking it off. Somehow Britta exploded out of her clothes Out of nowhere, too. all of a sudden Britta was naked. Like everyone's exploding, <laughs> yeah. balls everywhere on the floor. Just desperation, desperation, desperation. And Britta almost fell for that too and then she slowly started performing. That was a tough elimination. That was really hard to watch because she got off, said like believe in yourself, be kind to yourself. Then she walked off and just started wailing. wailing. I was having a little PTSD watching that myself. Yeah. When then, Betty got eliminated, you, I, <laughs> she literally, when I was eliminated, they I didn't remember show this. I was very like, let, okay, keep it together, and I turned around, and Bob was legitimately like, it was like a waterfall. It wasn't like dripping, balling. It was literal waterfall water to your I knees. I crumbled to the floor, uh -huh. and Betty goes, Bob. I was like, stop. Bob, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was going through. I was destroyed. Were you feeling emotional when you went home, or was it? Was, yeah. I was, and I was probably not helping. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank the incredible Acid Betty for joining us here today. So um, be well and love yourself. Girl, that episode was wild. That was great. Now, um, you want to share a car? Share a car? Yeah. You're paying. Wow. You won $100,000. Who are you Four fooling? years ago. Well, I'm... you're not spending it on outfits. <laughs> <laughs>